Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today, in this lecture, we will discuss about materials, metals and non-metals. This is chapter 4, NCRT book, okay, class 8. So, I will be covering about what are metals and what are non-metals. So, before going into the definition of metals, I will tell you some properties of metal and after seeing those properties, we can directly say that if this property is hold by any material then these are called as metals ok students so let me start with I am taking some properties ok let's say property 1 it is malleability ok students so what is malleability I am giving you one example take a iron nail this is iron nail ok and a piece of thick aluminium and one piece of thick aluminium ok and one pencil head let's say it is lead ok and you need one hammer so this activity you can also do at your home when you beat the iron nail with the hammer so after some times the iron nail starts uh, means elongating like a sheet okay and same is the case with aluminium but when you break the lead when you hit the lead with the hammer it suddenly breaks down so here I want to show you the malleability property so what malleability is the property of metal of metals by which they can be beaten into thin sheets thin sheets is called malleability ok students so as you will constantly beat the iron nail it will turn out into a thin sheet ok so this property is called as malleability so let us come to the next property so student here I am taking the next property which is ductility ok so what this property says the property of metals by which it can be drawn into it can be drawn into thin wires is called ductility so student what is the difference between malleability and ductility in malleability we convert the metal shapes into thin sheets ok and in this ductility we convert the metal into thin wires ok so this is the difference between these and this property you can also test at your home by beating an iron nail ok beat it like that that it will convert into a thin wire so you can check that iron nail is also a metal so now comes to another property which is sonorous 
Okay, what this property says when you beat any metal they produce ringing sounds they this is called as sonorous okay so students when you beat means when you uh, beat some metal with some uh, rod or some wooden rod okay you will uh, listen some ringing sounds so this is called as this property is called as sonorous okay so now comes to the definition of metals so student what are metals the materials which exhibits properties like properties like sonorous ductility malleability are called as metals okay so what are known metals materials which does not exhibit all properties like sonorous okay and they are poor conductor of heat also and they are good conductor of heat poor conductor of heat so they are called as non metals so students i hope you guys are pretty clear about what are metals and what are non metals okay and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then you can comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there okay and uh, if you have any other question then also comment in the comment section student and in the next video i will cover about chemical properties of metals and non metals thank you students happy learning